Hello everybody and today welcome to a brand new vlog. Now you might be wondering why I sound so tired. It's because it's five in the morning <laughs> and I woke up at four in the morning uh, because this is well a, a new vacation. Um, we're gonna be exploring the southwest of the United States like we do really often now but this one's gonna be different. I'm gonna explain why in a moment. You know, Actually I'm just gonna explain why now. This is a road trip, and we're g today we're going to be driving nine hours to Santa Fe. Um, and this is like, it's going to be so fun, because I think this is going to be the most variety-filled trip of all time. Because we're going to be going to places like, well, Santa Fe, as you just heard, the Grand Canyon, Disneyland, Universal Studios, Los Angeles, Las Vegas. It's going to be crazy. And that wasn't even the full list! So, like... Y'all, this is going to be probably the most variety-filled trip ever, and it's going to be great. The only thing I'm not looking forward to is sitting in a car about nine hours a day. But, you know what? I can live. So, today, we're going to be going driving to Santa Fe, and um, we're going to just explore around. We don't really have, like, a specific plan for today, but we're just going to explore around Santa Fe. But, anyways, let's... Let's get my, let's get this luggage, let's get this stuff, this bag of stuff and my suitcase. Let's just get it in the car and, well, let's begin this very long journey. go guys this is my epic loot this is my suitcase with all my clothes and toiletries and you know exciting stuff like that and this is all my gaming loot my headphones stuff like that so this is basically easy entertainment and this is my essentials this is gonna be fun now let's get it from here to the car Ugh. Ooh. there we go that's my luggage well, <clears throat> oh man, oh Jesus, shaky. All right, I got my bag, putting it right here, and this will be my home for the next nine hours and nine days, I guess. So, yeah, I'll film it when we start moving. I should probably close the door. Oh boy, here we go. This is a terrible shot, but I don't care. There we go, the sun's starting to come up a little bit. Let's go, morning muffin. This smells amazing. Oh my goodness, look at all these windmills. Hello, New Mexico, Yay. and goodbye, Texas. Nobody loves you. Bruh. Okay, I guarantee a lot of people love you, but still. Yay, something different. Wow, let's go, we're actually getting this some scenery is, now. This is cool. On the all iconic Route 66. It looks like a road. Guys, look, this road is like, it's the only thing here. It's just fields, a giant cloud, and some mountains in the distance over there. But other than that, there's like, there's nothing. <laughs> it's so empty. Wow. Look at those mountains. I mean, like, we saw like mountains in Gatlinburg, but like, this is a different energy. I like it. The Saj, a concept hotel. Bruh, you're telling me this place doesn't even exist? Here we go. This is the Santa Fe hotel room. Ooh, I actually like it. It's themed. And that's pretty, pretty neat. I guess I'll give the full tour because why not? This is pretty much it. A room. <laughs> the bathroom. Oh, wait, what? Wait, the, what? how do you turn this on? Oh, wow, that, that's, this is amazing. Um, and then, oh, it's a mirror high, and then a sink. This is content. Okay, I'm gonna bring my bags in. Wow, this is crazy, it's 140, and I'm not burning to death. Santa Fe, magical. 
Oh wow, this place actually looks pretty cool. What? Why does this pool look so blue? Honestly, for a hotel that doesn't exist, it feels pretty real, not gonna lie. I'm sorry, I'm rubbing that joke into the ground. I don't even know if I used that phrase correctly, but anyways, as you can see, I changed my clothes because now we're gonna go and explore around Santa Fe. I don't know why I did this, but whatever. Let's do this. Okay, this view is incredible. I'm so glad we got the second story. Oh, wow, this place looks cool. Look at where we're starting. It's a bookstore. Bookstores are cool. Let's see. Wow, this place is actually really nice. And look, there's even like coffee and there's like a lounge. It even has chess over there. <laughs> look, <laughs> it has chess. This place is amazing. If I looked here, I would work here every day. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could. We're at the Santa Fe Plaza restaurant and we're in late, we sat in the outside area. Like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. I wonder what I would eat. Hey, check this out. What? Oh, there you go. Fries. First fries of the trip were really good. Let's see if it ever gets beaten. I know I'm not the kind of person to judge food and all, but that was amazing. Honestly, the overall vibe of not just this restaurant, but this city, it's so different and I love it. And it's totally not what I was expecting at all, but you know what? It is amazing and I love it. Love it here. I have no clue what we're gonna do next. Let's just see. No plans, like always. Yeah, zoom in again. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, we got our food fast like within three minutes of ordering it that is crazy okay sorry back to the vlog this is the loretto chapel i'll tell you i'll show you why this place is so cool whoa this is so cool oh my goodness this is crazy this is the iconic loretto chapel staircase and what's cool about it is that like it like has like no support so it's, it's cool, it looks cool. That was awesome. Now, on to the next thing. Yes. Oh, you mean Oh, it's still recording. This is the San Miguel mission. I am so sorry if I said that wrong, but it was built in 1610. That's like, older than me. This is the oldest house to ever be built in the entirety of the United States. And it was built in 1646. What the, I, I, oh my goodness, this is so cool. The oldest house to ever be built in America. <clears throat> humans weren't this tall back then, so they didn't really accommodate for tall people. So I fit in perfectly because I'm five foot four. So yeah. That was cool. Now on to the Trader Joe's. Now, if you're wondering why we're in Trader Joe's, it's because um, we underestimated the amount of snacks we needed. So we're just gonna, you know, grab a snack. Or I guess more so just buy snacks, whatever. I don't know where this is going. I'll just, I'll film when something interesting happens. Probably not in Trader Joe's, but like, look, you never know, okay? You never know, you never know. Okay, so right now, since I got up six hours earlier than I usually do, it is currently 11 p.m. in my body clock. So I'm gonna go catch a few Z's, take a nap for a few hours, and yeah. I, I don't know what else to say. See you then. I feel a lot better now. 
So basically, um, this is like two hours in the future. Um, I've gotten a bit of, I got like an hour of sleep. Now we're gonna be heading to this restaurant because, I mean, it was recommended to us, so yeah. Um, so yeah, see you there. Oh my gosh, this, oh geez, this focus, oh no, oh no. This is the Tune Up Cafe. I'm gonna actually go inside. Ooh, nice. I like this. Epic food transition of the vlog again. Holy, that's Ooh, good. Yes. That's me. Just a mukbang. Mmm. Actually, solid. Yes, this is a mukbang channel now. Eat it. Literally, eat it. I do. Eat the. F nice job. You ate it. Oh, but. Mr. Fry right there. I might as well. So excited. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Oh my goodness. Mm, I need more. That place was also an absolute banger. And that's coming from me. Why is food in Santa Fe so darn good? Now we're going to head back to the hotel. And um, I'm probably going to swim in the pool. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I did not bring my GoPro this trip. But... You know what? That's okay. Um, anyways, um, I haven't uploaded, like at the time of filming this, I've not uploaded my Disney World vlog yet. And the GoPro footage really messed up. So hopefully I met hopefully future me managed to figure that out. Let's who knows? Who knows? But anyways, now let's get back to the hotel. God, I never cut why. Oh boy, I can't wait to get in the pool. Let's do this. Oh, oh that's, that's normal. <laughs> Yep, as I predicted, I am currently in bed after taking a shower. As you can see from my amazing hair and my shirt. Um, and this concludes day one of this adventure. And honestly, I feel like this vacation is gonna be amazing because it's already it's only day one. Yeah, I feel like I've been on an adventure. Santa Fe is such an amazing place, and it's sad that we only spend a day here. But like. Still, there's more adventures to come of cities I've never seen and cities I have seen. And cities I'm yet to film and cities I have filmed. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Um, so, yeah. I guess we cut to day two right about now. And by now, I mean a few seconds from now because I like to do these dumb transitions for no reason. Now, cut to black. Good morning, everybody, and today is day two of the adventure, and goodness sake, it's actually beautiful out here, and I can't really see it because of, like, lighting and all of it, like, dang, it looks good, but, sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, one thing I will mention, though, is that I had the worst nightmare ever last night. I had bad grades. I'm not even joking, that's actually nightmares I get. <laughs> I'm a nerd. But anyways, today we're gonna, first we're gonna pack up this room right here, which seeing all the junk and all the stuff in there, it's not gonna be the easiest task. Um, and then we're gonna go and eat the breakfast at the hotel's like plaza area. Um, so that'll be fun. And then we're gonna drive over to the Meow Wolf Museum, um, which apparently everyone says is drug trip. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> um, and then, we're going to do a seven hour drive to our next city, Page, Arizona, which just so happens to be right next to the Grand Canyon. So, yeah, that's basically what we're going to do today. So I guess let's get started. Yo, it's so bright, but it feels so good out here. It's 68 degrees. That's like my favorite temperature. I mean, my favorite temperature is 65, but like that's pretty much it. Oh, this is great. I love New Mexico. Oh wow, this place is actually like, cool. It's not like a, it's not like a crappy hotel buffet. This is actually good. Here's another awesome food transition. Uh, I, I didn't get anything special, I just got a muffin. Uh, 
biscuit. I have no clue why I'm filming food. See you when probably we leave our hotel room. Goodbye, hotel room. You will 100% totally be missed. Anyways, off to Meow Wolf. We made it to Meow Wolf. The one description I've heard about this place is that it's like a drug trip, so I can't wait to see this. Oh boy, here we go. This is apparently it's gonna be like super cool, so I'm excited. This is resting. Yo, what's the first foot? Oh, we're outside. What's back here? What, what is back here? What is back here? Oh, mom, secret area. Secret area already, yo. Oh my, what the heck? Oh, it's me. This is, yo, this is crazy. Bro, what the heck is this? Oh my gosh, I'm already like insanely impressed. I kind of don't want to film because it's just like there's so much stuff to see. Wow, this is awesome. Yo, this is crazy. Honestly, I don't, I don't want to film all of that. I want to enjoy this, but like, what the heck? This is like an entire maze. Each room has its own rooms within the rooms. What the heck is this? This is insane. Oh God, what the heck? Bro, there's this is like really cool. millions of- 70 oh, rooms. What the? Okay, what? I'm out of here, peace. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what is this staircase? <laughs> this is legit, like, claustrophobic. Oh my gosh. And by the way, I am claustrophobic, so... Well, slow down so you can... Bro, what? what? Oh my gosh, I actually hated that. That was so claustrophobic. Oh, hey, look, we're back here. Weird. Bro, this room is so trippy. It's like dark secrets. Oh my like goodness. Like, okay, I can't really describe this place and show you the full experience, but it's like, you enter this room, and then there are rooms within the rooms, and each room has something unique about it, and it has more rooms leading into those rooms. It's so crazy, and it's such an awesome experience. Oh, guys, look at this awesome bookcase. I wonder if there's something behind it, since that's always the case. Eat that! Yo, they know how to video game? Let's go! I mean, just look at this room. This is a perfect example of showing what this place is like. Just tons of random rooms combined into each other in such weird but cruel ways. It's amazing. Oh, would you look at that? It's a, a perfectly, perfectly normal house. Ooh, I, I see some light coming from the fridge. What is this? Yo? God? What is this? <laughs> what the what the heck? What is I just came from a fridge. And now I'm in here. Oh my this is so trippy, I can't even. Bro, what is this? I'm gonna steal that. I'm gonna activate the lasers. What it plays music! That is so cool. Bro. This is so sick. Oh my gosh. Yo, let's go. We fly in a rocket. Alright, so press this button. Yo. Turn the wheel. Oh my gosh, there's so many buttons. Oh, they all do something different. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. Wow. Yo, this is a cartoon room. Everything is cartoon. What the heck? This is actually so sick. I feel like I'm in a cartoon right now. I'm cup heading. I have no clue what the controls are. I'm just gonna go in. Dude, they don't even have, do they even have spread? I, oh, they do have spread. Oh, crap. Dude, how do I switch? I don't know what I'm doing here, bro. I'm just kind of... That was by far the craziest experience ever. <laughs> like, oh, I feel like I've committed a crime not filming all of it, but like, if I did film all of it, this video would be an hour long. Like, 
for an extra hour long. Like, seriously. That was insane. Um, apparently, they're making one in Dallas, which is close to where I live. So, that will be fun. But, goodness sake, I have no words. That was crazy. <laughs> oh, man. I'm in, I'm in love with this. I loved it so much. Um, anyways, now I think we're going to go head to the... Um, Head to a restaurant, get some last Santa Fe food, because it's always so dang good for some reason. And then we're going to drive over to Paige. So, yeah. See you then. Thinking of a transition. Aha, I got it. We're still in Meow Wolf. What the heck? Yeah, we decided to eat at the food truck by Meow Wolf. And I got some food. And yes, that transition I just did, that counts as the food transition. So, I know. The grilled cheese was amazing. The fries were good. Let's move on to the next city. Goodness sake, look at this. Wow. That's amazing. Yo, this is cool. The road is going down a mountain. And we're just getting all these amazing views. Oh my goodness. Like, look up there. It just went through it. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Okay, so the sign was really small and I failed to catch it on camera, but now we're in Arizona. And I'm playing Mario Party. Let's see. If I roll a four, why am I using this? Hold on. Wait, what? Hold on. Do it. I don't want to use it. Oh, what the heck? Whoa, look at this. It looks like Big Thunder Mountain, not gonna lie, and it's covered. Here, you'll be Thanks, here. Wall. Here. Thanks. Oh, hey, there it is. Wow, that is cool. And I think what's even cooler is that this is like a completely desolate field. And there's just that. How does nature do that, honestly? So we made it, and normally I would do a wide shot of the hotel, but it's raining, it's chaos, and we are in Operation Survive right now. So we're just going to head in the hotel room, and I'll film you probably when we're eating dinner. So yeah, not that exciting, but you know what? We'll figure it out. Okay, so this is our hotel room. It looks like a hotel room, but there are two highlights. One of them being this awesome balcony. Like seriously, two chairs, and you get a view of the lake and a massive dam over there. And you just get a decent view of Arizona. It's definitely, definitely something different. Anyways, let me show you the other thing. This bathroom. Look, you got a toilet, you got a sink, and a fully lit mirror. That's cool. But best part is this shower. <laughs> oh, freak. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to feel excited. But it is a highlight, for, for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Anyways, dinner time! Oh god, that shot was disgusting. Okay, so now we've got our food. Wait, oh yeah, food transition. Um, uh. Oh, yo, I got food. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to eat it. This is exciting. It's, it's literally freaking bread. Yep. <laughs> okay, so now we're walking out of our hotel, and we're going to go and see a view at the Grand Canyon. Because as you know, tomorrow is the Grand Hike. So today we're just gonna check out some views while we still have some time. Also this, this is beautiful. I don't know if you can see it, but it is very pretty. But anyways, let's see the Grand Canyon once again. Here we are, the horseshoe bend. Let's do this. Dang, look at that. Like a two minutes in the walk and it's already beautiful. And it, the sun is setting too. So this is just, this is just perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh. My goodness, this is 
beautiful. It just went out of focus. I hate that. But... Whoa. I should probably back away from the edge now. <laughs> this is beautiful. Goodness sake, I wish I had a better camera that could actually like film the whole beauty of this. But like, goodness sake, it's surreal. Also, I cannot tell how far away that rock right there is. It, oh no, I just messed up all the... Dang it! I messed up the light or whatever. But, um, focus. But anyway, yeah, that's so cool. That was beautiful for sure. Like, seriously, the sunset, the... Oh man, like, we just sat there and watched the sunset on a grateful universe. And, well, it was just... It was great. Anyways, oh geez, this camera's shaking, I'm sorry. Now we're gonna go head back to the hotel. I think I might swim in the pool because I guess that's tradition now. And yeah, I mean, uh, I'll show you show you when something interesting happens. That's just kind of the trend around here now. So yeah. All right, we're in the pool and it's indoors this time. Cool. Pool temperature is actually pretty cold. That's crazy. Okay, I guess I'll see you afterwards, I guess. All right, so I'm out on the balcony. Basically, we finished the pool. Honestly, it was pretty, it was better than the last one because there was more space to swim around. It was cooler and it was bigger and it was indoors. So that was definitely nice. Afterwards, I took a shower and now uh, we're here and I'm about to go to sleep. Uh, day two was really fun, even though most of it was driving. Um, highlight was by far Meow Wolf. That was incredible, can't describe it. Um, Santa Fe, as much as I do miss it, I will enjoy looking at the Grand Canyon tomorrow in the Grand Hike. So yeah, that will be fun. But now, um, I guess, see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Today's day three of the vlog, and today, well, let me just mention that these beds were so much nicer than the last hotel. Like, seriously, we had such a good sleep. But, um, anyways, that was a bit off track. Today, we're gonna do the grand hike, and we're also gonna drive off to Los Angeles today. That's right, new day, new city. Um, but what's different about Los Angeles is we're actually gonna stay there for four days. So that's gonna be like the majority of our trip. So yeah, I mean, let's get up, let's get some breakfast, and then let's head off to the Grand Canyon. Let's do this. Yeah, I actually have time to film this lobby now. It's actually, it's actually really cool. And big. Here's all the breakfast items. Let's see what I could collect. Look at this. You actually get to make your own waffles. So let's let's do it. I'm gonna grab a cup. Oh no, I'm already messing up. This is not the easiest thing to do with one arm. Get the cup out of here. All right, pull the back. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to put the camera down. Okay, we got that filled. And then we're supposed to spray it with this stuff. Um, I'm just gonna do that. That was way too much. I am incompetent. I am sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then we're supposed to like pour this into there. Uh, I hope I'm doing this right. I don't really know. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna hope I did that right. I'm like supposed to pull this down. And flip it. There we go. See you in two minutes. There we go. My creation is complete. Let's lift it and see. <gasps> they're, they're so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna grab them. Get. Wow. They look so beautiful. I thought they were gonna look like a garbled mess but they actually look beautiful oh that one was oh that one's being steamy he's picking them up wow that worked a lot better than i thought it would <laughs> what would waffles be without syrup so let's just uh -oh. 
I'm doing this very, I need two heads. Oh dear God, what have I done? Do waffles even have whipped cream? Um, they do now. Okay, and then I just ruined them. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Oh. I don't even know how it's supposed to. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Not gonna lie. How did this happen? That was the most mangled, messed up food I've ever eaten in my entire life. Oh my goodness. But somehow it still tasted good. I don't know how that happens. Okay, that was probably the most <clears throat> interesting breakfast I've ever had. But I forgot to film it afterwards. I had muffins and orange juice. But I don't know why you would care to see that. But anyways, now we're going to get packed and say goodbye to the hotel room. And, yeah. Goodbye, hotel room. That's somehow better than the hotel room in Santa Fe. Even though the one in Santa Fe was, like, way more expensive. Now, off to the Grand Hike. There it is, the Upper Antelope Canyon, also known as the Grand Hike. Let's do this. In the Navajo Territory, they make you wear masks. So I'm like, I don't have any eyes or mouth. I'm an expressionless being. I could be making an incredibly stupid face right now and you couldn't tell. But anyways, Let's do this grin hike. Vibing in the truck. Oh wow, this looks cool. Can't wait to explore. Oh my goodness, I don't think my camera can capture how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this place is so pretty. I don't think my camera can capture the beauty of this place. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely gorgeous. And there's like, there's no light. There's no like artificial lights in here. It's all sunlight. That is amazing. Look at that. The branch really do be vibing. Bro, look how tall it's getting. Oh my goodness. Oh no. It's getting darker, it's so much higher. Oh no, it's getting darker, and it's getting taller, you can't even see the top! Oh my goodness, it's so dark in here. Look, there's a tree, a tree fell on, like, so this fell part on this edge. Also, that's 110 oh, feet tall. The camera can't even right capture right the right top right anymore, oh my goodness. Oh. This looks so cool. Oh yeah, how does Earth just how does Earth make this? How does it happen? Seriously, oh my goodness. Wow, it's so special. Goodness, Wait, this is so pretty. We're free. Yo, this is so cool. That was awesome. Oh my goodness. Look, this is the canyon from far away. Look, you can barely even see it. Isn't that crazy how tucked away it is? Oh my goodness. We're walking up these stairs so we'll get a nice view of Antelope Canyon from higher up. Dang, that looks so pretty. Oh man, that is so gorgeous. And look, it's raining in Utah. <laughs> Guys, look, there's the canyon crack. That's like the tallest part of it. That's so cool. Oh my goodness. Wow, it's just desert. Goodness sake, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness, I can't. This is the entrance of Antelope Canyon from far away. And yes, this is the last shot of the tour. That was awesome. Well, that was it. That was the Grand Hike. Now, we're probably gonna go ahead to a restaurant to eat some lunch. I hate that I did that so- Food transition! Whoa, there's fries and a grilled cheese sandwich. Yo, and oh look, it's Powerade. This stuff totally wasn't on my lap when I first filmed that scene. 
And my camera is blurry. Yay! It's always so good. Anyways, off to Los Angeles. See you in eight hours. Wow, that is incredibly pretty. Oh my goodness. I don't think the ground is supposed to be that color. We're back in Arizona. There's the tiny sign that you barely saw for a split second. Let's go. Wow, this is quite the pretty road. Nice. Wow, that is one heck of a tall mountain. And like, we're right next to it. Oh my, whoa. Goodness sake. That is amazing. Dang, I missed the sign, but hey, we're in Nevada now. And you know what that means. Guess where we are. You'll find out in a few days. Or I bet you can probably guess within the context of the last clip, but whatever. Off to California. We're stopping here because there is a very special place we're eating at. Well, it's not special, but. Oh my goodness, what the heck is this? This is like Bucky's to the next level. Well, actually, I guess it makes sense since we're in a place that I've done a very, very good job of hiding where we are. But it does make sense that it's this, like, big in a city like this that I, I totally am not revealing right now. It's closed. That's the latest sign I've ever seen, but yeah, we're in California now. Let's stretch. All right, we just arrived at um, Universal City in Los Angeles, and we are in the parking garage for the Universal Hilton Resort. Um, and there was this actually, it's actually a pretty solid presentation, better than Disney World. No, not Disney World, no way, Disneyland. Because Disneyland's just in the middle of Anaheim, not really an interesting presentation. Well, Universal, it's got it's pretty cool. It's like we're in the middle of an urban city, and apparently this park is here because like we saw all the signs saying "Welcome You" or whatever. And I would have filmed it, but honestly, you guys wouldn't have seen anything because it's pitch black outside. Because it's like what? It's like ten o'clock. Um, but anyways. Now we're gonna unpack our stuff, put it in the room. The next shot you'll see me is probably me saying goodbye to day three of this trip. But yeah, I just wanted to go in detail and tell you what you guys missed because it's too dark for me to film it. Oh wow, why is this actually like really cool? Oh my goodness. Yo guys, this room is actually huge. I mean, our view is not non-existent, but like, look at this, you got the bed, whoa! And you got like a lounge area, a desk, a TV, and a big dresser. And then I haven't even looked at the bathroom yet. What's in the bathroom? Oh, nice. Nothing out of the ordinary, but why is there ice in here? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, oh, this is cool. It's like a coffee thing. I, I don't know coffee. I don't know any. And this is a closet with a safe. That's pretty cool. And this is my bed. Yeah. Okay, so I guess this concludes day three of the adventure. Um, honestly, it was all driving. <laughs> all other than that hike. That hike was really pretty. And I really enjoyed that. But tomorrow, this is when we get into high gear. As tomorrow, we're going to be doing Universal Studios, everything in it. We're going to do the Backlot Tour. We're going to do Jurassic World. We're going to do the <laughs> Harry Potter stuff. We're going to do it all. And we might explore Los Angeles as well. But you know what? I can't predict the future. We'll just see. But honestly, today was really fun. I'll see you tomorrow. So, yeah. Good night.
Good morning, everybody. Today is day four of the adventure. And look at this. Look at this view. I'm gonna get my camera a second to really show you the view, but it's a good view. I mean, this isn't anything special, but look, mountain. Anyways, I'm sorry. Um, today is Universal Studios Day. We don't have any other plans. Although, Universal Studios is a lot smaller than we thought it was. So there's a chance we might leave early and explore around Los Angeles. But for the most part, our plan is to just um, hang out in Universal Studios. As a matter of fact, the first ride we're going to ride is Harry Potter Forbidden Journey. So, yeah, that's kind of our goal. So we got up earlier than Coffee ever. Greenery. So, Coffee. yeah. One of my favorite See you when we get breakfast. I have a very special item to bring to the, the um, Universal Studios Park, because as you know, Harry Potter is in it. And it's from Ollivander's. That's right. My very own wand. We actually got this in the Orlando Universal Park. So now, I'm going to bring it to this one. Heck yeah. Let's do this. Mom, I haven't watched a single Harry Potter movie or read any of the books. We made it. We did it. To put things in perspective, this is my first time ever going in this park, so this is all new to me, so this is going to be exciting. <laughs> oh, hey, this sign is iconic. Hey, look, it's Main Street, <laughs> but Universal. Hey, yo, is this the place that I totally... Okay, that's actually awesome. So I actually... I don't watch Harry Potter. But this is actually so cool. This is the Forbidden Journey, and oh look! Oh wait, that's actually sick. Hold on. Do it again. Do it again, I say. Okay, uh, oh, there we go. Okay, that's actually sick. And it's only 15 minutes, that's nothing for Disney standards. Let's go. Oh yeah, by the way, this queue is amazing, and I will film all of it. I, I don't know where I was going. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. 15 minutes, practically walk on. All right, guys, this is Hogwarts moment. Yeah, you literally just walk through Hogwarts. It's amazing. Oh, no, we're in the, we're in the, the weird place. Hey, yo, here we go. This is where it starts getting good. If anybody here recognizes this room, you know what, Mom is a huge Harry Potter fan. Mom, what is this room? That's the uh, entrance. Okay, if you didn't hear, entrance to Dumbledore's office, apparently. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that thing's moving. That's sick. Oh, look, there's a little bit of 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 I'm trying to be careful not to hit anything. Hit any real legs. Because it is very dark in here, but oh my goodness. This is. Oh my goodness. Hey, it's a funny guy. Yeah, pretty much the only thing I know about Harry Potter is the funny goblet of fire meme. That's about it. And wands and stuff. Wands! It's the funny British people. Hi guys, I'm one of your kind. No one else has been there before. My goodness, this is like one of the coolest ride queues of all time. Yo? Yo? Hold well, on, I think there's the, like, a staircase, which is really cool. Oh, hey, look! Movie newspaper. Yeah, oh my goodness, I can't stop filming. There's too many cool things. Well, somebody's actually taking these bits for test flights. Yo? Alright, this is so cool. Oh my goodness. Look, it's the funny hat! And here's the opening of the ride. Oh my goodness. That's trippy. Oh man. Hype. This is so hype. I'll see you after the ride. Oh my goodness, that was incredible. That was like a Disney level ride, which that was oh my goodness. Ah! That was amazing. Like, seriously. Um, 
I have no clue what we're gonna do next. I guess I'll see you whenever. Okay, so my family's gonna ride the a little more intense ride, Flight of the Hippogriff. So while they do that, I'm gonna ride this again, but single rider. So, yeah. Single rider, all right. I don't see anybody here. Heck, I don't even know if I'm allowed to be in this queue. I guess we'll find out. Oh my goodness, I think it is literally a walk-on. Yep, not one person. That's amazing. Honestly, I think what's so cool about the ride is that it's just like, the animatronics are great. And the, it's like a massive set and it shows you, like explores you around it. But it's like, it's so cool. And like everything flows so smoothly. The cart movement is smooth, not jerky. Overall, that was just, God, that's such a good ride. That's a Disney level ride. I was not expecting that. So I'm glad I could be pleasantly surprised. Look at where we're going next. It's a wand store and they have like this cool show too. So, well, let's do this. Hey, look at this. It's, it's a wand store. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So basically what they did was they selected two people and then they basically did a little show with them where they used their wand and stuff. But I remember a little differently because I remember when back in 2017 when like the wand chose me, I was one of those people where the wand chose me. It was like after the show, everyone left and they said, hey, you stay behind. And uh, they like did the whole wand ceremony. So yeah, my wand chose me. Also, my wand is broken for a moment. But still, yeah, it's great. It's kind of cool how they change things, but I don't remember. So maybe, is it different? I don't know. <laughs> See you when we do the next thing. Hey, yo, funny restaurant. I want to see this. Oh my goodness, it's actually empty. Oh wow, this is actually cool. Somebody tells me we've been here before, but I can't put my finger on it. Let's go, the restaurant is closed. We're doing something else now. See you there. Oh yeah, breakfast. <laughs> funny breakfast and funny restaurant. I bet you guys can't guess where we're going next. Let's go, we're in super silly fun land. I've been this looking Isaiah. forward to this. Oh my God. This queue is lame. See you after the ride. Why was that ride actually like cool? Like what, how, how, why, why is it? I hate that. Okay, so we're back at Hogsmeade because apparently like you could customize your wand to get like an engraving in it. So um, we did it earlier this morning and now we're gonna check it out since they finished. So, hype. Let's go, they put my name on the wand. Heck yeah, no clue what we're doing next, I'll we'll just see. Guys, I gotta do the H spell, H. Try that a bit bigger. H. A little bigger. Bigger H. <laughs> a little more precise, try to keep the wand up nice and straight. That's Not true. Perfect. A little bigger, pointing it right about there. Right about here? Oh, oh, I go. didn't even do anything, let's good go. Work, good work. Let's go. No scratched up sensor will stop the magic from this wand. Another spell. Bro, moment. Well, I'm gonna try that again. That's slower? Okay. Are you broken or are you not? Seriously. Here's another spell. It should make this thing be quiet, so. Be quiet! Silencio. No. Be quiet. Pause the audio file. Okay, my one is. Here we are, the Universal Studio Tour. Let's do this. Wait, 35 minutes? Hey, yo, that's kind of pretty, not gonna lie. Hey! Look at Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. It's looking good. <laughs> Here we go. We are by Big Why It's a beautiful day for a tour. If this is your first time here at Universal Studios, welcome to enjoy Hi. Super Nintendo World. Hi. Look at this set. This is so cool. This is so cool.
That's so crazy. Your day is too hey, early yo, for what is Don't this? lose anything overboard. Morbing. What the heck was that? Bro. That I was not expecting. Okay. Moving on. Look at all these cars. And look, these are the cars from the Back to the Future series. Oh, this is so cool. Oh look, Harry Potter! That's the part that's the car from Harry Potter. Whoa. Oh there's the gyrosphere. That's so cool. What? That was sick. Hey, yo, what's going on here? Is it flooding? What the? Oh, man. That's a lot of water. Result from thousands of gallons of recycled water released from our stock stock at the top of the hill. Yeah. That's a little bit of water. A little bit. This is a western set. This town ain't big enough for the boat. Yo, this is the set of a good place. I actually watched an episode of the show. Thought it was good. That's so cool. What is happening? Uh oh. Not this again. I have not is. watched this movie yet. I think I've committed a crime for not watching it yet. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Pretend I didn't see that. What? What? what is What is going on? Why are there explosions? I can't see! Oh, that's a part! Bruh. This is the War of the Worlds crash site. This is really cool. That was awesome. See you when we get off. That was super cool. Seeing the sets of like classic movies. That was awesome. And also those um, like 3D things. Those were cool as well. Now I think we're going to go grab some lunch. So yeah. See you wherever that is. Guess where we're eating. Diner. Now it's weird because back in 2018 we ate at Mel's Dine In, and that was one of my favorite, no, my favorite restaurant in LA so far. And I really wanted to go this trip, but we didn't plan on doing that. And now we're eating at Mel's Diner in Universal Studios. Cool. Here we are. This is our table. Wow. We did good. Nice. They had no grilled cheese and they had no drinks I like, so it's just water and fries. The classic duo. 
I, I've never had water with fries. Do you really expect me to have a healthy drink? I'm gonna die at 30. Oh my goodness. This is my friend. When she These are good. Oh no. Um, yeah, I forgot to do a food transition. You what? I'll do a different kind of food transition. Dang, I devoured those fries. Anyways, on to the next thing. Okay, so my family's riding all the intense rides, so while they do that, I'm gonna go and single rider um, Forbidden Journey like six times. That's not even an exaggeration. Um, my phone's running low on battery, so I'm gonna keep the vlogs and my, these clips are gonna be a few, a little longer apart because I'm gonna try and keep filming to a minimum. So yeah, just letting you know. Um, yeah, see when something interesting happens between now and yeah. The end of the day, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if the camera can capture this, but this band is like screwing out water vapor. Seriously, Disney parks need that. It is a godsend. Okay, so now we're gonna do this thing called the lower lot. I have no clue what this is. We're gonna figure it out. So, let's go. Guys, guess what that is? That's Super Nintendo World. Oh my god, I cannot wait for that to come out. Also, by the way, this is the lower lot. It's just Jurassic World and stores and stuff. So, yeah, that's what this is. And look, oh hey, people are riding the ride. Let's go. Okay, not gonna lie. This looks incredibly cool. And look, you look at too. Uh, flag on top of Super Nintendo World. This is incredible, not gonna lie. Hey, Baldo, I want to see a boat come out of Jurassic World. I want to see it. Apparently it's right, it's like a splash mountain drop. I want to see it happen. There you go. Oh my god! Bro! That was massive! Is that bigger drop than Splash Mountain? Oh my goodness! Chris Pratt, what are you doing there in plush form doing the eyebrow raise? You're not doing the Rock Johnson. Come on, man. Stop being rip off the Here's the update. It's been a few hours and I've ridden Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey um, like six times. So, <laughs> like six times in a, a row. Um, and now my family's getting off Jurassic World, the ride. That was the intense ride I was talking about earlier. Um, so, I don't know what we're going to do next, but I guess we'll see. Hey, yo, what's going on over there? Why are there dinosaurs walking around? Hold on. Okay, so we're going to go and look at a few stores, like the Harry Potter store and apparently a Mario store. And then we're going to head back to the hotel and take a break. So, yeah. See you then. <laughs> Whatever. Whenever something interesting happens. Or when we're back at the hotel. Here it is. The Nintendo World Store. We got a Nintendo Store, baby. Woo! Okay. Like, yeah, the store is still normal, but like... Nintendo isn't just Mario. <laughs> See you back at the hotel. Yay! Man, that's a killer view of Los Angeles. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're back at the hotel. It's been like an hour, and now we're gonna go out again to find a restaurant to eat at. So, yeah. Let's do it. I need to stop doing thumbs up transition. I gotta think of something else. Um... Hey, yo, this is the city walk. It looks really cool. <laughs> oh my, is that Among Us? Wait, that is an Among Us. I know it when I see it. You know what I have to do now. Whoa, this is crazy. It's a dome. What? Crazy. This is actually sick. It reminds me of uh, Times Square from New York. And that is a big compliment. Like seriously, this is awesome. Hey, I know that place. That's some good frozen yogurt. Look at where we're eating. Seem familiar? This restaurant is so different from the one in Vegas. I actually like it. I don't know if I like it more, but I definitely like it. This is our seat and wow. 
This is awesome. Hold on, I'm gonna stand up to really get a good shot of this, like you know, said. Why are these restaurants always so good? Food transition! Yo, let's go! Alright, Fun fact, this grilled cheese isn't even on the menu. They hooked me up. Let's see if it's good. It's incredible. Oh my gosh, this is actually incredible. Is it the best? Maybe. That's really good. What? I step outside and it's cold? In July? What? Hey, yo, that dude is vibing. Look at him go. Or her. I can't tell. Oh my goodness. That's a Fortnite moment right there. I should be arrested. <laughs> oh yeah, and by the way, that restaurant was amazing. Best best restaurant of the trip so far. That was incredible. You were incredible. Oh my goodness. Oh, incredible. Okay, I need to calm down and breathe. This is just, this is all too cool. I can't handle it. Look at that. In all of its iconic glory. Hey, how's me do me looking good at night time? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you what we were doing. So, we went back to the park since it closes in like one hour. We're gonna ride Forbidden Journey, they might ride Jurassic Park. We're just gonna knock out some rides we enjoyed and just do them one last time, since we're only spending a day here. So, yeah, not really much to film. We'll just, I'll just see you when something interesting happens. It's about how things roll around here, you know? We're right, me and my mom, we're doing it just us. We're riding the final ride, Forbidden Journey, again. Yes, this is my 11th time riding it in a single day. But, you know what? I don't care. I, know, I like how you can barely see me right now. Woo! That was really fun. And now I'm sad. But, hey, there's still Disneyland in two days. So, it's not horrible. Um, now, we're going to head back to the hotel. And we may come across some misadventures along the way. We'll see. Toho moment. Except you can't even see the boys. Whoa! Oh my god. Hey yo, they're doing fireworks at Hogwarts. I wanna see if I can film another one going off this stupid illumination building is in the way. So oh no! Oh come on, we have 20 minutes left. We might as well sneak in one last time. One last to 12th time. <laughs> but whatever. Okay, but for real, this is the last ride. See you. See you afterwards when something interesting happens. Might be at the hotel. Who knows? Ow! Gosh, my eye! What did we just walk out to? Why is everything lighting up? Huh? I know this is a horrible shot, but like... That's not good. Why is this music really good?
have a Griffin door, by the way. Sorry, that was so cringe. Yeah! That was something interesting! Alright, so we just got back from the Universal um, Park. We're in the hotel now. Big hotel room. I love it here. Um, and we're gonna go to sleep. Uh, today was super fun. Um, and tomorrow's going to probably be one of the best days as we're going to explore around Los Angeles and Hollywood. That will be tons of fun. So, yeah. I guess see you later, I guess. I mean, I, I don't know why I'm saying that. Like, I'm going to see you in like a few seconds after the day transition. But whatever. Good night. Good morning, everybody. Today is day five of the trip. Yeah. Um, and today we're going to go to Los Angeles and um, just explore around. We're going to visit Hollywood and we're going to go to this place called Cafe 50s. Today's going to be a fun Los Angeles day. So without further ado, let's begin. Food transition. <laughs> that was probably the weirdest transition I've That's ever done. Blueberry muffin gaming. Let's oh, go. Hey yo, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, what are you doing up there? Oh, who am I kidding? All billboards have Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He's freaking everywhere. That was good. Guys, look, it's the Chinese movie theater. This is so sick, but they don't have Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Like, this is a scam. I swear. Oh, look, it makes me so happy to see Mario in Los Angeles. I swear, I am so sick of seeing Minions Rise of Gru. It's everywhere! What the heck is this? I, I can't, I can't. Guys, look, it's the all iconic Hollywood sign. I know we saw this back in 2018, but it's cool to see it again. Mm. Now I think we're heading to, um, somewhere else I, I don't know where look at where we are apparently my family says it's like the best restaurant of all time i mean obviously i'm not the kind of person to judge but i might as well see you know since we're here Ooh, this place looks cool oh wow there's more oh this looks cool this looks sick this is our seat yeah i think i already showed you this one but i mainly want to show you this if only it worked, but like, I still press funny letters. Anyways, food transition. It wasn't a food transition, this but we got milkshakes. Oh my goodness, milkshakes in LA are so good. Oh my goodness. Ah, I said oh my goodness twice in one sentence. Food transition to electric boogaloo time. Yo, this looks sick. I have no clue if that was a good shot or not. Not gonna lie. Wow, this is amazing. A great milkshake. Um, good fries and um, well, a good milkshake. Wow. Think this restaurant is numero uno? Possible. That place was incredible. Lovely. Goodness. Now, I think we're gonna go to Disneyland. Not inside the park, but like downtown Disney and our Paradise Pier Hotel. So, you know what? I'll just see when something interesting happens. You know the drill by now. Wow, this is Santa Monica Beach. It's packed and like nobody is swimming in the water because it's like really cold. And look, there's, um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's Santa Monica Pier as well. Cool. What's this? Ooh, here we go. We're entering Disney's Paradise Pier Hotel. This is my first time here, so I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, that's a hallway. I'll show you in something when we see something interesting. Guys, look at this view. You've got the Ferris wheel, the Incredit Coaster, Pixar Pier, 
and Cars Land and Galaxy's Edge are like right next to each other and the, the terrain kind of like blends in. That's amazing. Wow. Ooh, yes, I like these hallways. Very like yacht-esque. Yeah, and the, I like the four like watery design. That's really cool. All right, now that we've settled in, let me show you, let me show you our hotel room. So you got this, it's like a coffee thing. And then the bathroom, which is a bathroom. All right, very nice. <laughs> what is, who played that sound? All right, this is the, this is the, uh, <laughs> all right, so this is like the TV and got Mickey Mouse on there. <laughs> this is the TV, it's quite, These are my brothers. So this is the TV. And you got that like <laughs> This is the TV with the Mickey Mouse. Okay, I didn't mess up that I time. Why? Did... I didn't mess up that time. Okay, so this is the TV. Why? <laughs> and then in here you got like a secret mirror closet with item over here you got like a coffee area that's cool this is the uh tv with the uh the mickey mouse uh lamp i really love this um you got the beds here uh that's the one i'm sleeping in this is like a cool desk with a lighthouse lamp um and um then you got the window view, which has a lot of cars. Um, and then finally, you've got this uh, lamp that's like a skateboard. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so scared that you're. <laughs> okay, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Correction this isn't Galaxy's Edge, this is Radiator Springs. So. Shut up. Okay, goodbye. Okay, so we've rested for a few hours, and now we're going to head down to downtown Disney. So, yeah, let's do this. Uh, I mean, you can barely see it, but, like, there, that's the Paradise Pier Hotel from far away. Sick. Here we are. I'll show you whatever we end up doing, because we have no plans. Okay, I guess we're looking at the Star Wars trading post first. Okay, then. This store is cool. I mean, like, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, but like, you know, it's cool. Guys, look at this Lego store. It's, it's amazing. And look, they recreated uh, Beauty and the Beach scene and Lots of Toy Story. How do they do stuff like this? Like, this whole mural is Lego. These, like, pillars are Lego. And this is Lego. And that. Wars fighting a dragon is Lego. Look at the baby. Yo, what? <laughs> Bro, imagine if someone like pushes that off and it just breaks. That is that is pain. Oh my! And the platform. Goodness sake! See what I mean? This place is crazy. Wow. And look at this. This is Aladdin. Oh, these buildings are so cool. And look, there's a dragon over there. Oh, wow. This is cool. Anyways, off to the next thing. Dinner. And a nice fountain. Food trend. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 please. No. Their Disney fries. Let's go. That was really good. But now we're doing World of Disney. This is a horrible shot, but hold on. Let me just um. Well, oh. World of Disney. Let's go. Honestly, the store is actually kind of underwhelming. Like it's cool, but nothing really interests me. Except for socks plush. Oh my gosh! I might actually have to get these. I might just have to get that. We'll see. All right, so that was Downtown Disney. It was pretty fun. 
now we're gonna head back to the hotel and we'll probably cut to me saying goodbye today um five so neat see you then this is a way better shot of paradise pier pretty neat nice i don't, I don't know what else to say nighttime california adventures looking good don't mind me i'm just gonna be playing the cuphead dlc um yeah hi all right as you can see i'm in bed i've taken my bath as always and now we're gonna say goodbye to day five uh this day was fun exploring los angeles i haven't been there for a while and my mom actually used to live here so it was fun to see some family history uh but yeah tomorrow is gonna be a very exciting day as we're going to disneyland it's been very hard to cope from leaving disney world um so this should help um but anyways i'm gonna go back to playing cup at dlc instead of sleeping so yeah good night good morning everybody today is day six of the adventure and today's the <laughs> One of the day I've been looking forward to most, which is um, Disneyland Day. So as you can see, I'm wearing my, my summer outfit that I wore day one of my Disney World vlog. Um, and because it was just an exciting day and wanted to wear my best outfit. So, um, oh, I'm sorry about that. My, camp, my finger literally slipped. But um, anyways, today we're going to ride. So the thing about Disneyland is like there's no Epcot, there's no... Hollywood Studios is not Animal Kingdom, it's mainly just like Magic Kingdom, but there's still stuff like Galaxy's Edge that we can do and like fun stuff like that. The first ride we're gonna hop on is Rise of the Resistance, so I guess let's get up and see what happens. So, whoa, whoa, but I thought it wouldn't be designs. Oh, I already hit like six. I made it. I totally just survived that. Oh, come on! Hello, California Adventure. Looking good today, even though we're not going to this park. Rip, we're going to Disneyland. Those are different. <laughs> Look, this elevator is like a glass thing. So you can see California Adventure as we go down. You can no longer see California no Adventure as you so, no. Goofy! Oh wow, we have to pass through the Grand Californian to get to Disneyland. And man, it looks, it looks good. Like, really good. Wow. Hello at Disneyland! Oh boy, I'm so glad to be here. Now, let's run to Rise ride of the Resistance. Go, 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 go. Oh, where's the castle? I, I can't see it, the tree is in the way. There it is. Edward Main Street, USA. The history behind this place is amazing. And now I'm incredibly happy to be here. Anyways, let's continue running to Rise of the Resistance. Let's go, let's go. Hi, Matterhorn. How you doing? And hello, Tomorrowland as well. You guys look like you're chilling there. Look at Pirates of the Caribbean. It's looking good. Hello, Hunter Merchant. You're also looking very good today. And hello, Splash Mountain. This will be the last time I ever see you, so if it is the last time I ever see you, then I, I'll miss you. Oh, hello, Raft. Hello, Galaxy's Edge. Here we are. It's so weird <laughs> seeing the same place that we've seen in Disney World, in Disneyland. Also, sorry for the camera being so shaky. It's because I'm, I'm like walking really fast. Guys, the line is so long, it literally goes into Galaxy's Edge. That's, that's sad. Okay, Rise of the Resistance has a stupidly long ride wait. So it's so we're gonna ride Smuggler's Run. Here we are, Millennium Falcon 2, let's go. See you after the ride. Let's go, we're flying the Millennium Falcon. See you after the ride. Wait, wait what, I guess we're... Oh, guess Cantina now? What the heck is happening? I got a drink called Hyperdrive. I've never had something like this. I'm gonna try it. It's one of those things where like, I don't know if I like it. Oh, wow. It's like Powerade, but fizzy. It's okay. Yeah, I like it. That cranberry Powerade and Sprite, like, mix was actually really good. Hyperdrive slaps. That was a great way to start the day. I'm gonna put on my sunglasses now. 
right, so my family's going to go ride um, Indiana Jones. So while they do that, I'm going to go ride Big Thunder Mountain. Let's do this. Here we are. It's only 10 minutes. Let's do this. I'm actually kind of nervous. Oh, man, this queue is so different from the Disney World version. Sick. Oh, boy, my heart rate is starting to pump up. See you after the ride. Oh, man, that's that was scary. So here's the thing. A few things about the ride were different. There were, like, some effects, like TNT, and, like, it just looked, overall, looked cooler. And you could see, like, Galaxy's Edge at one part when you're at, like, the top of the mountain. Um... But then there's like, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm looking at where I'm supposed to be going this way. Um, I was like scared because there's this one section in the ride where it's dark and there's a drop. That was scary. <laughs> but yeah, now I think me and my family, we're going to get back together and ride Haunted Mansion. So let's do it. Even though I'm not going to ride it, I'm going to go look at the um, Indiana Jones Adventure queue because you know what? My family's running it, so why the heck not? Ooh, we're walking in the funny, the funny temple, and we got lightning lane, so we won't really be able to see most of the action here, but you know what? We'll get a piece of it, we'll get a taste. Oh no, what is this land? Where are we? We're in the, the evil temple place. I'm sorry, I have no, I have no clue where we are. I, I even watched Indiana Jones. I'm not cultured. Yo, walls. The only stuff I know is like the boulder, the the, the traps, and, and how horrible the second movie is. And not as a bad movie, as in the events that happen are nice to watch. Oh, that's that's not normal. Oh, oh no, what? What's going to cause this? Um, oh. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make this interesting. Uh oh. The funny cave. Claustrophobia. Oh no. It's me, I will fall over again. Oh. Oh, that is. Oh. That's not ideal. I don't know if you can see it. There are spikes on the ceiling. Oh, that is not ideal at all. Oh, this is nice, nice little pyramid temple room. I'm not scared at all. Okay, so I'm a nerd and I'm skipping out this ride. So they're actually telling me to go up this elevator. I got an exclusive place in this Indiana Jones ride. Out of all rides to be taken to a secret place. This will probably be the last one. We'll see. Okay, then they told me to go down this one. Why, why do I not feel like myself? Why do I feel like I'm being led to my own death or something? Oh, ominous much? That's eh, Disney, I'll be fine. I hope. Uh. This is fine. Right? Oh, no. Where am I? Oh, it's, it's just the end of the ride. That's a bit underwhelming, not gonna lie. <laughs> it is very loud in here. See you at either Haunted Mansion or Pirates. Oh, I gotta cover my ears. Oh my goodness. Here we are, Haunted Mansion. 13 minutes. Woo! I hope the shot isn't terrible because, well, I can't see. It's too bright outside. I can't see the screen. So hopefully it's a good shot. But yeah. Oh, spooky. Oh, no. Spooky. See you after the ride, guys. You got the deal. Wow, that was surprisingly different than the Disney World version of the ride. I noticed one part I didn't like about it was that it was kept like... The lines were all cut together. It was way faster. But one thing I did like about it is that, um, sorry. One thing I did like about it was that like everything was shuffled around and in like cooler ways. Like the opening, you were like outside and it was cool. And like the effect was more convincing in the beginning. I don't know, it was just very different and I liked it. Anyways, on to the next thing. Enough waiting around, let's do Rise of the Resistance. 
Awesome. Hey, all set. Come on in. The return of the scanner. See you after the ride. That was exactly the same as the one in Disney World, which made it was incredible. Um, the drop felt a little longer, but that was probably just me not remembering it well. But anyways, now we're gonna go find some breakfast. I know the pace is crazy, but like, bro, that was so good. Food transition. That was really good, and now I think we're gonna ride Pirates of the Caribbean! I'm so excited because this is the good version of Pirates of the Caribbean. And I'm not saying the one at Disney World is bad, I'm just saying this one is so much better. Let's do this! Here we are! This is so different! Let's do this! Yo, this is sick! Even though it's hot. So I feel sick. I don't care. Oh, looking hype, guys. Hype. All right, here we go. See you after the ride. This is hype. My, my, that ride was so good. It was like double the length of the Disney World Pirates of the Caribbean. Therefore, it is double as good. Um, so yeah. Oh, I'm so used to be being like a store. Anyways, I think we're gonna go ride Matterhorn. I still haven't decided if I'm gonna build up the courage to ride it, but you know what? We'll see. Let me, I'll see you then. Oh, man. Here's Matterhorn. Not ominous at all. Uh, here we go. I'm not scared at all. See you after the ride. Oh, man. Okay. Mom get batch. I was screaming the whole time, but in retrospect, that was only because I didn't know what I, I was putting myself to. It was not the most intense ride ever, but it wasn't calm. Um, it kind of hurt, like Primeval World. So, to future to future me or may or may not be nervous. It's chill. Anyway, I think we're gonna ride Small World now. So let's do it. This queue is really pretty with all the flowers and trees and all this. See you after the ride, I guess. I don't, I don't know. That was really fun and really wholesome. And I've already talked about why I enjoy the ride in my Disney World vlog. So go watch that. I'm not going to explain it again. I'm too lazy. Uh, I'll probably just make it pop up on screen like now. If you need more context, uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride is like the stupidest ride in Disneyland. And that's exactly why we're riding it. Also, here's a cue for my memory, because I forgot. This may very well be the worst cue of all time. It's like 30 minutes and we're all like two inches apart. That felt like 30 minutes when the ride said it would be 20. That is so, oh my gosh. But finally, we're here. I will never be the same after this. Wish me luck. See you afterwards. I think we just wasted 30 minutes of a life. Seriously, I cannot describe that ride, even if I tried. Seriously, nothing else to say. Next thing. I don't know if you could tell, but we're back at Big Thunder Mountain. Let's go. That was fun. Um, now, uh, we're probably either going to ride Jungle Cruise or something else. Not 100% sure. Hello, Tomorrowland. Looking good. There's no collider. Frick. Oh, wow. Tomorrowland do be looking good. Look, it's pizza plan. We're definitely going there tonight. 100%. Nice. Oh, look what we're riding! Hype, hype, hype! Let's go! Front row hype, see you after the ride. I'll tell you if I'm the spy. I wasn't the spy, cringe. I have no clue what we're doing next. We'll just see. That's kind of what always is the case. Yeah. Here's what we're doing next. Okay, let's go. Not much to say. See you after the ride. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was the ride of all time. So now we're riding Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. I have no clue what this is. We're going to find out. What the heck? 
What is this? Exactly what the heck is happening? Also, I'm lying down because I'm in space too. This is actually pretty chill. But I'm just questioning what the heck is going on. That was really fun and cute. Um, kind of like the carousel progress. And I got a good leg rest. So, hey. Now, um, I think we're going to do Buzz Lightyear ride because we, uh, we got lightning lane for, for some reason. I don't know, but whatever. Let's just go do it. Let's go. That was just Space Ranger spin. Anyway, now we're going to go find somebody for dinner, I guess. Yeah. Sorry for the whole fast-paced, repetitive stuff. It's just we're on the grind today to ride everything. There's not really much for me to film. So, and what can you do? Um, I'll see you whenever something interesting happens. Probably when we're at dinner. I bet her not to be disappointed. I love Toy Story. Let's see. Ooh. Not what I was expecting at all, but this is, this is cool. Nice. Food transition works every time. Why would you do that? You knocked over the camera. It's her fault. It's her fault. It's her fault. Oh, but these Disney fries are good. And fruit punch. How, how is it not chalky milk? How did this happen? Okay, so now we've gone to the point of the day where we've ridden everything we've wanted to ride. So now we're going to do repeats. So we're going to hop on Matterhorn and... I mean, I guess I'll show you when something interesting happens, but I will give you the timeline of events. Uh, my adrenaline is still increasing. What? Here we are. We're going single rider, which where? Oh, there you are. See you afterwards. That was fun, but I feel like we got a separate route that hurt like 10 times more because that ride, I swear, it jolts you around so hard that it hurts bad, but Anyways, I think we're gonna do Star Wars Smugglers Run or something. So, who knows? You're looking good, Galaxy's Edge. You're looking good. Also, we went through the secret gate that was closed in Hollywood Studios. Just thought I should mention. Here we are. I'm not gonna bother, like, filming something afterwards unless something noteworthy happens. Even though I am piloting. I'll just see you um, when something interesting happens between now and the end of the night. <laughs> okay, plan. We're riding Small World and then we're gonna watch the Electric Lights Parade. Okay, sorry if you can't hear me, but this is the update. We, uh, we could not find a seat for Electrical Lights Parade. So what we're, we're gonna do this kind of shuffle things around a bit. We're gonna ride Star Tours just to kill time. And then we're gonna watch the fireworks. And then after the fireworks, we're going to watch the 1050 show of the Electric Lights Parade. There. See, things are shuffled around a bit, but we figured it out. So, I'll see you when the next notable thing happens. What is happening? There is like a thousand people on top of each other. I'm not going to say any names, but this reminds me of a certain event that happened recently. Big boom! Big booms! We're viewing it! <laughs> Let's go! Yes! Yes! Hey! I'm not gonna film this whole thing. See you afterwards. Okay, so these last 60 minutes have been an absolute disaster. So basically, crowds everywhere. I mean, they're still around now. Um, after the fireworks show ended, we were basically pushed from the crowds into Frontierland, and we tried to push out, and it's just so much. I emotionally had to recover from that. But now, 
things have changed, but I've got a last minute plan. I'm gonna hang out here, see if the electrical lights parade will come to Main Street, but I have a lightning lane of Haunted Mansion that expires at 11.35. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride Haunted Mansion via lightning lane, and then right after, run to Pirates of the Caribbean to ride that as the last ride. This all, it's a huge, high risk, high reward. But if it succeeds, then we've got ourselves, well, a good way to make up for what just happened. So I'll give you the update as, it, as this all unfolds. We'll see. I need to give this operation a cool name. Operation Last Minute, I like that. Or, yeah, Last Minute. Anyways, I'll give you this, the scoop. Uh, cut, I guess. Okay, I'm out, I'm heading to Frontierland. I have exactly one hour to ride both the rides. And if there comes a situation where I'm out of pirates and I still have time, um, I might run to Rise, Rise of the Resistance, but I would not expect that. I just want to ride those two rides one last time and I will be satisfied. Um, yeah, so see you at Haunted, I guess. You can't really see what's going on, but that's fantastic. Oh my goodness. Oh man, what is happening? What? Bro, this is, might be an obstacle. Oh no. What's happening? Bro, they died. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, I'm gonna run. Oh man, this is very difficult. Oh man, but it's nowhere near as bad as the fireworks. You can start hot to match and looking good at night. A video. Okay, I'll see you after the ride. Oh my goodness. Part one of Operation Last Minute is complete. See you after the ride when the hardest part comes. Step one of Operation Last Minute was complete with time to spare. Now we're gonna run to Pirates of the Caribbean and we still have 49 minutes on the clock. I know you can barely see, see me, I'm sorry, but what's important is this is gonna work and we might Depending on line weight, we might be able to ride something else as well. But you know what? If this is the last ride, I am happy with that. Because Pirates in Disneyland is like top three best rides of all time. So, you know what? I'm okay with it. So, you know what? Let's go ride it and have a good time. As my, probably my last Disney experience of the summer. So, yeah, here we go. The grand finale, 25 minutes. But this does not look like 25 minutes. This, oh my gosh, this actually looks like a walk-off. If it's a walk-off, then I think we could ride like Rise of the Resistance or something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No way is it actually, it's actually a walk-on. That wait time, that wait limit thing, wait time, that was a lie. That, yeah, that's a walk-on, oh my goodness. Okay, now we're stopped right here, right before we go inside. So, this is like a 10 minute line. That's still great. And there's a good chance we'll get to ride Rise of the Resistance before the park closes. But I'm not gonna get my hopes up because I'm happy with this being the last ride. Because thematically, it's perfect. But you know what? I'll tell you, I'll see you after the ride and give you the plan. Because I can't predict it. I'm also sorry about my voice. My voice is gone. Again. I know you can barely see me, I'm sorry, but I have something to explain. There are 20 minutes left in the day like before the park closes. Well, actually, in general, it's 11.40. So, I'm gonna do phase three of Operation Last Minute and attempt to ride the big one, Rise of the Resistance. 
no clue if I'm gonna be successful or not, but you know what? I'm satisfied because the original Operation Last Minute worked out beautifully. So let's just try to get that bonus, but if we don't, it's all good. Um, but yeah, let's try. Why not? I'll tell you what happens. Update! Rise of the Resistance closed early. Rest in peace. Um, I am currently generating a new plan. Honestly, I think I might just head back. I'm satisfied with what we did. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay. So, the only ride close by that I like is Pirates. So I guess we're doing a double ride. Cause why not? It's here, I might as well. So this is the true finale. I'm not gonna bother filming it again. I'm just gonna let you know, I'm riding it a second time for the last time. I guess the last time, the next time I'll see you, we'll be walking out of Disneyland. By will, I mean I, so. Yeah. Yeah, just got off. It's over. After this journey since June, Disney has concluded for the summer, but the adventure is not over yet. There's still three days, technically two days to go. But I just want to give a moment to these parks for really changing my outlook on things in the last 40 days. But yeah, that was, that is just, I have no words. Goodbye, Disneyland. I, I don't know if you can see my hand. My voice is gone because of you, but I, I love you. You've by far been the biggest highlight of the vacation so far. This camera shot is terrible, I don't care. I love you, not just Disneyland, but all the Disney parks. Don't worry, I will return someday. Someday. Now I'm gonna head back to the hotel and go to sleep, because I need it. I've been up since 8 a.m. and it's midnight now, so. Yeah, let's go back. Look, there's cats. They're vibing. Okay, so we're in the bed and I would normally explain how the day was, but gosh, my voice is gone. I just want to go to sleep, so. Um, it was amazing going to Disneyland. We did everything we wanted to do twice, so I think we did good. And I'll see you tomorrow. I want to sleep. Good night. Good morning, everybody. Today is day, I've lost count, day seven of the trip. And today we're going to be going to Las Vegas, which is going to be fun. And yes, my voice is still gone badly. But you know what? I don't care anymore. But, yeah, Las Vegas, that's pretty much the entire summarization of today. So, first we gotta pack up and leave our room and get some breakfast. I have no clue in what order those will be. We'll just see. Goodbye, Disney Paradise Pier hotel room. You will be missed. Okay, can, it, can the door actually close? There you go. Goodbye. You will be missed. Now off to the car. Okay, we just went to the grocery store, got some breakfast, and now we're gonna do a four hour drive to Vegas. Let's do this. Here we are. By the way, earlier when I, like a few days ago, when I said like, guess where we are? You'll find out in a few days. It's, it was Vegas. I thought I made that like pretty obvious. Here we are, our hotel. Yes, it's the Paris Hotel again, you guys. It's in the middle of the city and we only have four hours to explore around. Wow. Can't believe it's already been a year since I've been here. I still remember this place like the back of my hand. Here's our hotel room. I gotta push the door. And yeah, it's exactly like the one we had a year ago. But I like that because that was a good room. We got TV set up, funny desk, a random stool. Our beds, nightstand. What's our view? Oh, um, we have to no, look up. We get the view of the Eiffel Tower. That's cool. Oh, uh, but here's the most important part. What about the bathroom? 
What is the bathroom? Huh? Let's go. Oh my gosh, the shower is actually really big. Nice. There's a what? There's a stool. No, it's not like a, a bench in the shower. What sense does that make? But I love it. Anyways, I'll see you probably when we leave the hotel room. All right, we have zero plan, but we're just gonna go explore around the Vegas Strip and just see what we find. I need to like stop doing that because it's probably like extremely formulaic. So instead, I'm gonna go further away. All right, guys. Oh man, the Las Vegas Strip. How much I've missed you. Anyways, our first stop is kind of Hollywood. Yes, sir. This place, my brothers absolutely love a roll of sandwich. I have no clue why, but you know what, whatever. Let's just, I don't even know if I want to eat anything, but that's why we're here. Here we are, vitamin, and here's my epic grilled cheese. Um, Frank, food transition. Um, that counts. Noise. We have three noteworthy places. New York, New York over there. And the Coca-Cola area right here. And the M&M's place right here. We're gonna just go check them out real quick. Hey yo, I love me some Coke merch. Let's go. Now you must be asking, Trishy, why aren't you doing the Coke challenge? Well, it's because the second floor is closed. Yeah. On to the M&M store. Too bad. I don't know why I said it like 2018 me. Oh my god. I'm scared. I never got to pronounce, pronounce M&M's correctly. I, I don't even think I'm pronouncing it correctly now. It looks exactly like the Coke store. Yo? Nah, I'm, I'm blue gang. I'm, I'm blue gang, 100%. Let's go. Blue gang merch. Let's... Yes, I want an M&M plush. Yes. No, you're kidding. The M&M's movie experience is temporarily... No! I can make an M&M? No way, I have to do this. All right, let's see. Uh, theme. No, I need. Can I get a custom photo? No. Okay. Let's do romance. Hmm. I don't know. Um. Great job. Sure. Uh. Wait. What? What did I do? Wait. 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 No. no. What text can I put? Yes. Let's go. All right, next. Well, I can get this. Wait, can I not like customize the color? No. You. No, I want to. Want to customize the? No, it's stupid. I want to make it blue. Scare. Wait, you can put your face on an on M&M, but, but what happens if I like show the camera a picture of my cube? Oh man, if, if I was actually gonna buy it, I would have to try that. Oh, it's, it's funny because she doesn't care. That's so funny. Skittles? In an M&M store? Oh no, I'm out of here. This is too cursed. Wow, look at New York, New York. Looking good over there. Wow. Hey, Excalibur looking good as well. Wow. We're gonna watch the Bellagio fireworks. And by the way, here's a, a shot of nighttime Vegas. It looks good. Especially Paris. Looking good. Uh, but yeah, let's watch these bathrooms. Whoa. Look at them go. This phone is capturing it horribly, but. Oh, there we go. That's a little better. It's still not good, but pretty, pretty neat. Okay. 
That's really tall. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Look how high it goes. It went, it went higher than the actual <laughs> height of the building. Alright, we've pretty much done all our exploring for the night, sadly. So, I'll see you back in the hotel room. We're back in the hotel room, and look, I got the chocolate Oreo cake thing. I'm gonna eat it. Mmm. Mmm, that's so good. Day seven was really fun. Um, exploring around Vegas was very fun, even though it wasn't, it was only for a few hours. I still enjoyed it. Tomorrow, um, this is the, tomorrow's the beginning of the end of the, oh my god, it's so good. Tomorrow's the beginning of the end of this adventure, um, so, there's two more days after today, and I am, honestly, I'm exhausted, so, even though I'll be sad, a part of me is also happy that it's over, so, um, yeah, I mean, I'll see you tomorrow, I guess, I'm gonna finish this. Mm. That was a tiny thing. I don't know why I gulped like that. I'm so weird. Good morning, everybody. Today is day eight of the adventure. It's six in the morning. We just got out of bed, packed, and I was leaving for a 11 hour drive to Roswell. Don't really got much else to say. This is gonna be the shortest day of the vlog. So, I mean, let's get driving. Wow, that's the Hoover Dam, the biggest dam in the entire world. And look, if you look like at the land around, you can see the original water level that was here before the dam. That's so cool. Wow. Now let's continue this drive because we we're about like one hour in and we've got ten hours to go. So let's let's just continue. Let's go. We're in Arizona. Yay! Food transition moment. <laughs> Not keeping that. That's the food transition. <laughs> let's go. Finally, after like twelve hours, we finally made it to Roswell. Hey, rainbow over there looking good. It's very bright. We made it to our hotel. It's another comfort in. That's like our home now, our home away from home. I'm losing breath. I just need to get in that room. I've been in the car for like 12 hours. Ooh. And look, there's an alien. If you're wondering why there's so many aliens, it's because Roswell is the city where all the alien sightings happened way back when. So, yeah, cool. I'm gonna get in the room. Oh. Here's our hotel room. Oh wow, this is actually like cool. Yo, this is actually sick. Oh, this is awesome. This is way better than the other Comfort Inn. Well, actually, this was Comfort Suites. That's why. Um, this is my bed, this is my spot. Let's go. Let's see our amazing view. Yeah. Do we have a view of the rainbow? We got a view of the rocks. <laughs> I think that's all we need. Any alien views? Oh, oh my goodness. There's a UFO. <laughs> the most important part, how good is the bathroom? It's a bathroom. Let's go. Wait, what? Ah, look that was weird. Okay, well, now we're gonna go eat dinner. I just realized there's two TVs. One. Two. What? There's two TVs. That's so unnecessary. Let's go. I'm gonna hide in the closet. See you at dinner. Hey, yo, let's go. I'm putting, you know, one of the TVs to good use. I'm gonna play some Cuphead. Is what I'd say if I'm playing Cuphead. I'm actually gonna actually go eat dinner now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh no, there are aliens. Hey y'all, let's go IHOP. I thought this was just a breakfast um, restaurant, but we'll see. This is our table and this is Roswell IHOP. 
desolate. Anyways, you know what comes next. Food transition. Mm. Yummy, yummy, and I got my chalky milk as well. And done. We destroyed our table. We just got back from IHOP and now I'm gonna go to sleep, I guess. I mean, maybe I'll stay awake a little longer because why not? And also, that. But besides that, as for like the vlog, the last full day of the adventure is over. Um, it was not exciting at all. <laughs> um, I guess, I mean, like, I have nothing to say. I'll just see you tomorrow. I need to, this is the last night transition of 2022. I gotta do something cool. Hmm. Hmm. Good morning, everybody. Today is day nine of the adventure, and today is also the last day of the adventure, so. Yeah, nothing much going on today. We're gonna explore around Roswell, eat at Space McDonald's, and that's about it. I mean, yeah, this is the end of the vacation. So I'll see you when something interesting happens, which is probably when, our, when we're leaving our hotel room, so. Bye, hotel room, the final hotel room. See you later. You were actually, oh. Um, that was anticlimactic. I don't think that's the right word. Okay. See you later. You were good because the ice was the ice was right by your room, and I have to get ice every morning. So I appreciate it, man. Anyways, off to the open world. A gamer's worst nightmare. Guys, look, it's the space I McDonald's. I the Dunkin' Donuts one because that's Let's actually. Let's go. We, I gotta play in that play place. Let's go. Here we are, the UFO Museum. Let's. This is like one of the last things we're gonna do in this vacation, so let's just go. Wow. Aliens. They're everywhere in this city. Oh, yeah, by the way, I didn't film it, but like, goodness <laughs> sake, there is alien stuff everywhere. It's so funny. This place is actually kind of cool. A lot of reading, but it's still pretty cool. But also, bro, what the aliens doing? What, why is there gas coming out of it? What, is it taking off? Or is it, did, ja did gas just come out of it for no reason? I think it's the latter. Okay. Oh no, we're here to be kept in the lab. We got to get them out. No, it's just like Area 51. Ah, for a moment, look how small he is. <laughs> He's probably even shorter than me. <laughs> I'm, I'm a loser. <laughs> Bro, we even got the owies. You guys got to treat him. That's actually kind of like. I don't know if I can chuck. Yo, we can simulate being aliens. Let's go. Me too. Is this like smugglers around the Yes. <laughs> oh. Yo, no. the aliens also speak English? Ow. Dang, we just 
died. Oh, this is cool. That's actually sick. Guys, I think I have to get the blue alien marketable plushie. It has to happen. Yay, we bought him and now we get to take him home. All right, now I gotta think of a name. I think I might name him. I just think it's a very fitting name. Yay, let's go. He's actually so cute. Like, how did they make an alien cute? I don't understand. Yo, let's go the space McDonald's with the aliens and the, the saucer play place. We have to go there. Well, I guess we are going there, so. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Let's go. We're going in the, the saucer play place. I need to see this. Yo, this is actually sick. I'm not gonna lie. I need to go in here. I, I don't care about age limit. I have to go. I have to go inside the, the play place. Jeez, oh, these steps are huge. They're difficult for me to climb. And I'm a 15 year old. Yo guys, it's the stepping saucers. My foot doesn't even, my foot is too big for it. Yo, what is this? It's a spinner. Oh gosh, what's up here? An obstacle course and epic slide. Honestly, I think I would get stuck in there, so I'm not even gonna write that. You know what? Oh, what the heck? You only live once. Uh, oh no. No, my sunglasses. Get back here, boy. Oh, we made it. I survived. Let's go. Oh, look, here's the sign outside the saucer. Hola. I don't know why I said that. Let's go. This is actually so cool. Wow, look at those mega sized fries. They're vibing, but what is that? It's, it's not what I think it is, right? It's not a bee, right? Uh, probably not. Oh man, I just realized this is the last food transition of the vlog. Um, so, hmm. I wanna, let me just, Oh, yo, it's, it's appearing. I'm totally, oh, you didn't see that. I, I'm totally not moving the tray. Let's go. We got the epic fries. We got a grilled cheese. I didn't look at it yet. Yeah, grilled cheese and apple slices. I don't know why I'm filming this. I need to really like film something better. That was really good. And it was also the last meal of our adventure. This is where it ends, guys. I mean, obviously, there's still another six hour drive from here to our home, but this is where the adventure in ends at a McDonald's. <laughs> Let's go. We got our fruit punch high C, and we got, um, I already forgot what I named him. <laughs> Alien Boosh. Let's do the final drive of the adventure. After a seven plus hour drive, we're finally home! Yes! As much as I have adored this vacation, I am very happy to be home because it has been emotionally and physically exhausting. Oh my gosh, I gotta say hi to the dogs! Hi, doggies! Hello! Oh, hi! Hi, Molly! And hi, Kinsley! Oh my gosh, they're so crazy. They haven't seen us in nine days. Whoa. <laughs> Hi. Yes, we're back. Oh man, I'm so happy to see you. Ah, oh my goodness. Oh man, I'm finally back in my bedroom, which is an absolute mess, but oh my goodness, I'm back. Uh, honestly. Being able to sleep in my own bed, in my own room, is going to be very nice. But I guess now is where I conclude not just the vlog, but 2022's vlogs as a whole. Um, oh, geez, sorry. I'm putting my hand on my pop socket case. Uh, but that makes it quite shaky. Honestly, it's going to be so nice sleeping in my, like, in my own bed, in my own room, by myself. It's going to... That's going to be very nice. I'm going to turn on my fan. Um, so I guess now 
I just, this is where the video ends. Not just this vlog, but all of summer 2022 videos. And I'm going to just say right now, if you're still watching, thank you for watching to the end. I really appreciate it, unless you skip to the end, which I still appreciate. But, uh, um, yeah, <laughs> this is where it ends. Thank you all. I mean, like, this vacation. <clears throat> It was a different adventure every day, and that's what I loved about it. Each day is different from the last. Um, is there anything you want to say, um, Cube? All right, yes, wonderful. I think they should do that as well. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go eat dinner. It's it's eight o'clock. I need to eat. Uh, cube, entertain them or something. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just, yeah, just entertain. Here, I'll give you, I'll give you a step. I entertain the viewers. Oh yeah, and um, I guess I should say thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. I'm gonna cue the credits and cut you off, you stupid cube. Ha! Oh! Ah! Oh.